Hello and welcome to our next film. This film will show you the maintenance part. Two means we want to remove or exchange the assembly cater or even the clinker. I would like to show you part of it. This is what you see here, the assembly cater, the black one, and this is the clinker here, what we have. And the clinker is necessary for a security reason. If you hit your frame as an accident can happen for sure, then this little part here, this one here will break and make sure that nothing else will be broken inside the machine. That's why we have this, this is a security thing. So of course it can happen if you are stressed up and you need to do something very quickly and you have not an eye on the frame so it can be that you hit actually the frame with a needle and then this one will bro be broken. Now. How to change it? First of all, I have to say we are working now on a Sprint 6 machine. The same is on a Sprint 5 as well as on a Sprint 4. The benefit of this machine is in this case we do not have any electric brake. So because we need to move the main shaft by hand, which I can do right now, you can see it. I can move it simply here behind the black, black plate, just that you know that. I will tell you then also about the Jaffa and the Racer series. They do have already an electronic or electric brake. In this case, it is necessary that you still have connected actually your KSB board. That means the board, which is in our case here above. I will show you quickly what it means. I will bring it down. So this is actually this board. This has to be connected. Otherwise, you cannot release the electronic or electric brake from the other machines. Anyway, um, we won't like to, I would like to continue now. What we have to do first, after our needle package is removed, which you have hopefully seen on our first chapter, on our first video, you are able to remove now um, these two or these four screws, which are simply plates. And in this case, you need um, an Allen key, size two point and half. This is the right one here, and I just open them now. It's not a big deal. Very easy. Just make sure that you don't lose the screws, please. Put them on a safe place. Take this off. Right. So now let me show you what it means. This is here the assemblicator, right? You can see it here. And there we do have then the clinker. This is actually the part which will be break if in an emergency reason or when you hit actually the frame or any hoop. Um, also here above you can see on this little spot here where the clinker is. And if we want to get off or to get it out, what we have to do next is we need an Allen key size 2 and have to open this little screw above the assemblicator. Right? It's a tiny black screw. Please be careful when you open it that you don't break it. So make sure your Allen key fits very well. Open it, and it's not necessary to remove it, just open it. Give some turns, and that's enough. If this is done, you are able to move the bar. i show you that. I can move now the bar. You can see it here, hopefully, well. So here it looks already outside. Okay, this is the necessary. And now slowly we will rotate the main shaft in the back side. Always rotate into the back side, not forward, backwards, please. So I take my hand and take now the black plate here. The picture will show you which one it is. And I rotate it simply. It's not a big deal. It's easy, actually. And you see it's moving, right? It's coming like that. And you just stop it here anywhere, somehow like this. Okie dokie. Now the assemblicator is still above as well as the clinker. I have to release, now we call it the jump stitch magnet. The jump stitch magnet is over here, this little bar here. You just pull it and it will fall down, as you see. Once again, just pull this, it releases it and then this one is free. Okay, now almost we are able to get it off or to get it out. Basically, I have to pull down now more the bar. Pulling down, down, down. 
can take it also from here. And then when the bar is already on a stitch plate, I'm able to get it off. But very, very important. Above the assemblicator is a washer. Actually, it's a, a rubber ring. And it is important that you don't lose it. Mostly, it sticks above here. I will get now in my finger, and I got it. I put it now here. I hope you can see it. This is the rubber ring. Please don't lose it. Anyway, if it happens, make sure it is, will be not inside the head. Otherwise, maybe it causes problems after you have exchanged it. And don't forget it to put it back, otherwise the machine will be very loud. On the other side, if you lose it, don't worry. There are in the, our toolbox, there are several inside of these rings. It's not a big deal. Okay, put this on the side, don't lose it. Then I can take off now my uh, supplicator with the clinker. I hold now the bar and move this a little bit up. Uh, it is now fixed in here, you, maybe you can see. The clinker is still hold it, holding the assemblicator, so I have to release it with my thumb, just like that. You see, I'm releasing it, and then I can get it off. Once again, release it, put the whole thing up, and then you can get it. So, here we are. This is the piece what we would like to exchange. Also here, one thing I have to tell you, there's another washer inside. It's a plastic one, a white one. It's underneath of the assemblicator. It's this one, I put it over here. Did you see it well? Also this one, please don't lose it. It is necessary. So just keep in mind, the white one is underneath and the rubber one is above the assemblicator. Okay, now we would like to bring it back. <clears throat> We take now an, our assemblicator, and you might see that there is a little grease on it. If this is disappeared, please make some grease on this part. This is quite important. I turn it a bit that you see it better. This yellow thing here is grease. And you have also in your toolbox, basically, a grease here. You see, you have a whole, yeah, whole tube, actually, and I can simply open that and take then the grease out. Just simply with your finger and put then some grease on it. Remove the old one and put the new one on it. Like this. It's a little bit too much. Okay, that's fine. All right, now we are able to bring back our assemblicator with the clinker. So I have now to make sure that I put first my white ring, my white washer, on top of the needle bar here. So I bring it a little bit up, just like this, that I can put on this plastic white washer. Maybe I go a little bit further up with my needle bar here, somehow like this. And there is a little, yeah, somehow like a guide or a gauge also, you can say. This little part which I put on grease has to fit in. There's a black piece. You will see now the, the picture. Then I can bring this back, make sure that that piece with where we have the grease on it is uh, for sure inside this um, guide plate, let's say it like this, the black one. So I bring it now in. Okay. I am. And then there you see, there is the little hook here. Just press it a little bit down until you hear the click. Now it's inside. I hope you can see that. That one here, I'm talking about this underneath here. Right. We bring up now the, the bar. Up, 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 up. Here we are, this is too much. And please do not forget this rubber washer. This is now the next one. It must be above the assemblicator. Don't forget, please. So we put that on. Otherwise, the machine is very noisy. Okay, and then we bring up this shaft or the bar until you feel it here underneath where my finger is, flash. Must be flash with a plate. So I'll press it a little bit further. If it is too much, if you have the feeling it's too much, no worries. Just bring it down the bar like this. 
and press it up again until you feel it is flesh, as I said. If this is done, then we can close now our little black screw. We take the Allen key, size number two, and I told you, please be careful with the tightening. Don't do too much, otherwise you will break it. And this causes for sure a big problem, it's not easy. So, like that, that's enough. And now the bar is fixed. The applicator is inside with the clinker. And to check it now, you just simply rotate now your main shaft like this to help you. I always put up this uh, thread leveler here. So, and you see it's working well. And I release once again the magnet here. Down and rotate again. So, until to the parking position. Now it's in the parking position. I can see it because the clinker is now above uh, in another hook and I cannot move it anymore. But you should have the possibility that the uh, supplicator here, the black one, should move a little bit at least. You see, like this. This is necessary. But it's fine. Everything is okay. Normally it should not happen that you have to do something else on it. We just have to bring back now the plates, this one, with the little screws left and right. And if you want to make sure, you can also put here some oil in before you put the, pla the plate back. Just give here some oil. The ZSK one, you see that everything is nicely. And then we bring this back. Okay. Two and a half millimeter Allen key. So now we brought back our plates. Also here, please make sure that they are flesh with the cover here on the side, actually with the body here, left and right. And that's it. If this is done, then you are finished. Um, now please watch then our last video, how to put on the needle package and bring everything back and then you are done. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.